the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord God, King of heaven and earth, may it please Thee this day to order and to hallow, to rule and to govern our hearts and our bodies, our thoughts, our words, and our works, according to Thy law and in the doing of Thy commandments, that we, being helped by Thee, may here and hereafter worthily be saved and delivered by Thee, O Savior of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, good morning to everybody. Welcome to our daily conference on humility of heart. Our conferences are uh, uploaded regularly on our YouTube channel, Sense of the Sacred. Oh, please don't forget to subscribe and to click the notification bell. Okay? So, uh, sa araw na ito, we, uh, uh, we uh, continue to read from where we left off yesterday. At uh, ang topic ngayon ay... Uh, uh, forgetfulness of sins. Okay? So, ang sabi niya, uh, maari nating sabihin na isa daw sa mga pangunahing dahilan ng kakulangan ng ating kababaang loob ay yung uh, madali nating nalilimutan yung mga kasalanan na nagawa natin. Well, one of the re- principal causes of our lack of humility is that we possess too readily the sins that we have committed. We only think of our sins when we are preparing for confession. And at that moment, we only think of our sins in order to sum up their kind and number so as to make a valid confession. Pero hindi natin, uh, bihira natin, uh, bihira natin iniisip yung bigat, yung laki, okay? at uh, yung mali siya sa, sa likod ng ating mga kasalanan. Okay? Yes, we think of the number, we think of the kind of sins so that we have something to say in confession, pero kadalasan, we hardly ever stop to consider their gravity, their enormity, and malice. Now, uh, even if we do bestow some slight thought on them, well, it is only in order to flatter ourselves that our sorrow is sufficient for the validity of our confession. And what is still more amazing is that we are hardly out of the confessional when the remembrance of all our sins vanishes. Nakapagtakalalo na kalalabas pa lang natin sa kumpisalan, eh agad-agad nalilimutan na natin ang ating mga ginawang kasalanan. And uh, maging yung pinaka mabigat na makasalanan, ay nabubuhay na uh, nabubuhay ng parang in, abs- in a state of absolute peace na para bagang siya ang uh, pinaka inosente sa lahat ng mga tao para bang siya yung walang nagawang kasalanan katulad ng mahal na birheng Maria at yan ang nakakalu- nakakaawa. No? It's a very, very miserable state. Okay? It is a very, very miserable state. Bakit? Well, unang-una sa lahat, lagi nating tinatandaan yung mga uh, pasaring, insulto na natatanggap natin mula sa kapwa nating tao. Subalit, okay, uh, uh, subalit, hindi natin naaalala 
yung mga insulto na uh, binigay natin sa Diyos sa pamagitan ng ating mga kasalanan. Okay? Um, when we when we keep in mind no, yung mga galit na kinimkim natin, no, yung mga uh, yung mga galit na kinimkim natin dahil sa lagi nating naaalala yung mga insulto na tinanggap natin mula sa ibang tao. Okay? Our resentment is fostered. Subalit, uh, kung tinatandaan lamang natin yung mga insulto na ibinigay natin sa Diyos, edi sana naging mapagpakumbaba tayo at lalo tayong nahikayat na magbalik loob sa Kanya. Okay? If only we keep in mind how much insult God has received from us, then we would become humble. We would be, we would be uh, motivated to repent. Okay? Kaya nga yung nakakapagtaka na hindi tayo nagiging mapagpakumbaba kung lagi nating kinakalimutan ang mga dahilan para tayo ay mapagpakum- maging mapagpakumbaba. When we become oblivious to those urgent motives for humility. Totoo naman no, na sins confessed are already forgiven. Totoo yun, Okay? Sins confessed are already forgiven. But you see, uh, having our sins forgiven in confession does not and should not make us self-righteous as if we have never committed any sin in our life, in our own lifetime. Okay? Uh, yung nga eh, yung insulto na nakamit natin sa mula sa ibang tao, hindi natin kinakalimutan. Kaya lalo tayong nagingit-ngit at nagkikim-kim ng galit. Pero yung maginawa natin laban sa Diyos. Yung maginawa natin laban sa Diyos. Kung natatandaan niyo yung Gospel last Sunday, di ba? Isang tao ang may napakalaking utang sa hari. Okay? Humingi siya ng tawad mula sa hari. Humingi siya ng pagkakataon, ng palugit mula sa hari. At uh, pinagbigyan siya, binura ang kanyang utang, pero kaagad-agad niyang nalimutan yung pinat yung yung kaagad-agad niyang nalimutan yung utang na pinatawad sa kanya ng hari. Paano laman father na nalimutan niya yung utang niya doon sa hari? Well, napakasimple. Noong nakasalubo niya yung kapwa niya alipin, may di hamak mang mas maliit yung utang sa kanya kesa sa yung utang niyang pinatawad ng hari. Pinakulong niya. Okay? He has, he has uh, the mere fact that he did not show mercy to a fellow servant already indicates that he has forgotten that he was shown mercy by the king. Thinking na he had all the right, okay, to have a fellow servant incarcerated. Yung, yung iniisip niya na nasa kanya ang lahat ng karapatan para ipabilanggo yung kapwa niya lingkod. 
nalimutan niya na siya mismo ay may malaking utang na pinatawad sa kanya ng hari. Kaya nga, alam po niyo, let us not forget our sins. They might have been forgiven in confession, but let us not forget them. Not because we want to become over-scrupulous, but let us not forget our sins because we want to live in due humility. Na is nothing mabuhay na mapagpakumbaba. Para sa gantong kadahilanan, kaya sinabi ni Propeta is Jeremias na ang taong hindi nagtitika ay hindi mapagpakumbaba. Because there is none that do penance for his sins, saying, What have I done? Okay? Walang nagtitika para sa kanyang kasalanan ang makapagsasabi, Ano bang nagawa ko? Okay? Walang nagtitika sa kanyang kasalanan ang maari magsabing, Ano bang nagawa ko? O isipin natin to. Ano bang nagawa ko? Ano bang kasalanan ko sa Diyos? Ano bang ginawa ko laban sa Diyos? Okay? Kung iisipin lamang natin yung mga ginawa natin, yung mga kasalanan natin, yung mga pangiinsulto na ginawa natin laban sa Diyos, ay tiyak na magsisisi tayo at magiging mas mapagpakumbaba. Yun nga lamang, kukunti sa atin ang ginugunita ang ating sariling kasalanan. Um, we call upon the heavens to be astonished at us. Be astonished, O heavens, at this. If a nobleman is insulted in some public resort by a low-born menial, the offense is considered great and an adequate punishment is demanded for such an outrage. And yet, kung, kung iisipin natin, it is only a man who has been insulted by another man. A worm that is offended by another worm. Nothingness offended by another nothingness. Pero, paano kung this worm, this nothingness, insults the divine majesty of God? Nakakapagtaka, it causes no dismay. Okay? If somebody important is insulted by somebody inferior to him, we demand, ay, kailang maparusahan yan. He does not deserve to be insulted by this person. Pero isipin mo, yung taong mataas at yung taong mababa, pareho namang tao yan. Parehong bulati lang naman yan. Both of them are worms. Okay? Both of them are nothing. And yet we make a big deal out of it. But when a human being insults God, we don't react. We say nothing. Okay? We say nothing. It causes no dismay. Kaya nga, be astonished, O heavens. But at least, let us be ashamed. Let us humble ourselves for our insensate hardness of heart. Mahiya naman tayo. 
dahil sa ating matitigas na puso. Mahiya naman tayo at maging mapagpakumbaba, ibaba natin ang ating sarili dahil sa katigasan ng ating kalooban. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Change my heart, O Jesus, Thou who didst empty Thyself for love of me. Make known to my spirit how excellent were Thy sacred humiliations. Let me begin this day illumined by thy divine light to do away with that portion of the natural man that still lives undiminished in me. This is the chief source of my misery. This, the barrier that I constantly oppose to thy love. Glory be to the Father and to the Son to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, hope of the hopeless, pray for us. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Don't forget, do not forget your sins Always be humble before God. Let us not forget that we are sinners. Thank you for joining us today. And uh, I do hope to be with you tomorrow. Uh, God bless you. And don't forget to like and share.